M0 FXB Rouillage UV58 or the Radtail 890. This has got the M70 firmware. They, they do sell the M70 or you can buy the original. Someone's asked me, how do you scan? So I've set a shortcut button. So you just go menu up and down till you get to 49. And that's side button number one, the one minute beneath the PTT. And if you press menu, I've set long press to frequency scanner. OK, and then back out with the red button. So all you do is so I long press now and you'll see how fast it scans. So it's, you know, it's just a, a budget speed, I would say. And I've noticed that when it's not scanning, press the red. If you want to change the frequency, look how fast it goes when you go up and down with the arrows. Look at that. Let me see that again, sorry. Oh, you've got airbag coming in there. See the way it goes green when you're receiving? Anyway, just hold it down. Look how fast it changes. That's cool, isn't it? And then I've been going through some of the you know you have a menu and you can go through the menus okay all the items but you also all these buttons have presets so if i just hold down number one and go straight to the squelch go back out and number two am lsb usb fm remember this is the m70 firmware uh, back out and let's try number three that's changing the step here, star. And that takes you to the output. So if you had a shift, you'd see the output, you know, when you transmit, it goes red, look. Power high, number five. AM fix, get better AM. Dual standby, so dual receive, sit, but you only hear one at a time, but you, you'll dual watch. That's turned the radio on, which is tiny, but works well. It's like a triple band radio now. And there is writing on here as well at FM. You've got a four key pad. Number seven. I see the plus and the minus shift appearing at the top there. Number eight. You get this little menu here, which I don't really know how to use this, but look, LNAS, PGA. Back out with the red. Number nine. I can't see an obvious change, but there probably is. Hash, that's locking, unlocking. And look, that's VFO and memory mode, look. We've got, and it does show your frequency and the name. Brief press, it's just typing the thing. I'm just doing some brief presses now. I think it's pretty cool, you know, myself. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. And I did, I just before I go, I did have this little scanner working. Let me, there it is there. Look at that. That's like a, that's all, all that is searching for activity, you know. Let's go one, four, five. There on my TID, that's key. Let's see if it finds it, I'm keeping it keyed. It's trying, it's getting closer. <laughs> and it'll find your CTCSS as well. And it'll actually, it actually searches for frequencies and CTCSS. You've got menu. If we go back to that menu and set reset the button, what number was that? That was, we'll find it. There it is, side one, side button there. Let's look at the selections menu. Frequency scanner, flashlight. AM fix, Vox, TX Power, Squelch, Dual Standby, Backlight, Frequency Step, Key Beep, Toggle List, DTMF, yes it does DTMF, fine, TX, Spectrum, we just looked at that, Dark Theme, yeah you can actually make this radio go white, I'll show you that actually, so select that and then back out, watch this, and it actually looks really good, Don't, I know it's bright but that actually looks really good, probably better in the sunlight. And back to dark theme, menu, menu again, RF gain, modulation type, bandwidth, monitor, frequency detect, let's look, that's the one, so let's back out, and then we just long press, it now goes into detect mode, UHF at the moment, but if you press hash, it's VHF, key the mic on my other radio, and it's found it.
And it's actually got a CT CSS search as well. Thanks for watching. And um, God, the amount of people, people that messaged me that said, well, if it did DMR, if it did, I don't know, satellite dual simultaneous receive and transmit while you speak, I'd go for it. Like, what do you expect for 25 quid? Come on, get real. Bye for now.